Being on someone else's podcast. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about it. <laughs> the podcasters within the podcast right? doing a podcast. <laughs> All right, and we're good to go. It's we a good start? Yeah. yeah, good. Awesome. Well, welcome everybody to Making It in Tampa Bay. Um, we're so glad that you could be here today with us. And we have our special guest not behind the cameras today <laughs> with us it's in weird. person, <laughs> yeah. live. Um, for Wait a minute. minute. Who's filming this then? Yeah. <laughs> Like ghosts. Like ghosts. <laughs> yeah. They are. It's Whoa. weird how you can do that. It's very hard. <laughs> um, but yeah, we've got the uh, the coconuts, as I referred to them yes. as yeah. um, the the uh, the crazy guru, coconuts, the crazy coconuts, the <laughs> yeah. gurus of That's us. of uh, photography, uh, videography, and uh, all things uh, social media and whatnot. And you guys have had a crazy couple months. How long? I mean, I don't even know. Why. Obviously, we'll dive into it and be able to discuss that a little bit more. But um, Jake and I thought it'd be a great opportunity with Pastor Ryan and Colton both being out of town to uh, just bring these two amazing human beings on <laughs> and uh, and share their story with you. Um, obviously, uh, I was just on their podcast. I learned a lot about them. Jake was on their podcast uh, in the beginning. I think episode two it was. Uh, and just got to got talk it. talk about uh, his story a little bit, but we thought he reversed the uh, the picture now in the in the How interview. Yeah, for you guys? This is yeah. Weird. that's really weird. Don't hold back, guys. Don't hold back. Right. So I'm gonna ask you guys what you normally ask people on your podcast. <laughs> oh, no. In one sentence. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it can be as long or as short as you want it to be. It's so funny. What is, is it that you guys do? What is it that we do? I love that. That's what an interesting do? question, Jacob. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, we have not like solidified our elevator speech yet. Yeah. <laughs> so, this is going to be great. This is going to be a good. So first start out, yeah. what, are, what, are, what are your names? Where are you guys from? True. True. Yeah. That's a good yeah. starting point. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so my name is Roberto Guido, and this is Marissa Lewis. And together we are the Dos Cocos yes. Locos. That's us. <laughs> so I was like a little. <laughs> but um, I don't know. Honestly, bro, I think at this point, um, we've been doing like a lot of reflecting and stuff. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of fires as far as like finishing up client work, but. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I think our the thing that we do is literally just bring cool people together mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then we use photography and videography as a creative outlet to capture those cool people and then bring them together. It's incredible. Like, what do you think? Yeah, I think that's a good way of describing it. Yeah. Yeah. How did you guys meet each other and when? Ooh, oh wow. Yeah, yeah here we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're going back. We're taking it out. We're going to hold back. <laughs> You know, on YouTube, 10 seconds or yeah, keep like, going. Boom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dang, well, we actually met in college. Yes. Um, I, was at, I was actually dating someone else at the, at time, the time when I first met her. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, oh, that girl's cool, but I can't talk to her like that. So it's okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, then, um, that was interesting, guys. interesting enough, we actually were going to be doing like a trip to Kenya. And, yeah, so um, we're in like this. Uh, it's, it's, it's kind of like Rotary, like Rotary but like Rotary Club. Okay. So it's like a college okay. age like Rotary group, and they do a lot more like service based kind of volunteering kind of stuff and so we were, it was a group of like 12 of us mm. who were going to go to Kenya um, for like a two week summer camp at this school out there wow it was going to be a lot of fun and we were yeah. going to do like an arts camp there oh so God. we were planning this huge trip his ex-girlfriend was going to and that yeah, was which fun yeah a little awkward <laughs> <laughs> the time yeah. so, but, but we were spending much more time together so I was yeah. like able to like really get to know and he her. was the president of the club yeah, and then time. I ran for uh, volunteer coordinator yeah, yeah. Okay. volunteer coordinator yeah. Awesome. And that's yeah. kind of how we started. Did you, guys, did you guys go on the trip? So we no, unfortunately we did it. So there was like a, yeah. it, was, it was so sad. There, there was, was like a terrorist, terrorist attack, attack. Oh. Um, close to where we we're going to be going. So yeah. unfortunately it wasn't safe for us to go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But, um, so what school day. were you guys at? Florida Gulf Coast University. Florida Gulf Coast. Shout out Coast. GCU. Yes. GCU. Fort Myers. Fort Myers, yes. yes. Learned oh, a lot. We don't use our biology degrees anymore, but it's okay. Nope. Not at all. So yeah, cool. So yeah, let's go back to that. So you heard <laughs> biology. <laughs> I love this. Hey, hey, this is this is my turn to ask the questions. I know this is I've so put, odd for us. Put, <laughs> <laughs> let's go back to that. Um, so yeah, let's talk about that. Let's go back to yeah. biology, what we were studying in school yeah. and everything, and then okay. I know where the story kind of leads from there. So let's kind of 
okay. find our we way the there. Origin story. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. We gotta go that's, OG. That's that's crazy. Crazy. We're gonna yeah. know you too. You gotta. We Let's gotta go. Oh, start right. with dissecting a frog. And then <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I actually never got to that. Oh no, I did in high school. The, that's dissecting a frog. A frog. Yeah, yeah, that was fun. And a pig heart. That was cool. Um, ooh. Um, a squid. But. Uh, so we were both biology majors in college. We were both pretty doctors when we met each other. So oh. like false hopes, but um, <laughs> that's how she trapped me. That's how I trapped her. <laughs> we're like, okay, if I don't, if this doesn't work out. Right. At least he'll be a doctor. Right. Same. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, You'll be the breadwinner. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. One of us has got. Or like, we're, we're just gonna ichnay like, both, and then we're gonna just do life together. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah. Yeah, so that's how that happened. Yeah, and then but, honestly, for me, um, the only reason why I was gonna be a doctor. I didn't really have much of a choice. So I come from like a pretty um, medium class background, but my parents came from nothing. Um, yeah. Back from Mexico, they literally were like the poorest people in their own town. Mm-hmm. So my dad had to come when he was 14 years old to America, try to do like get a better life for his family. Wow. Um, so we, after, my option was either to work at the restaurant that they were working at mm-hmm. as a buster and probably learn how to cook or cut grass. And I'm like, those both kind of suck. So I'm going to try to go to school and like be a doctor so that I can like make money. And like in my head, that was the only way to make money was like yeah. to be a doctor. Like that was it, making it us, for, like making it for us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we're like, okay, I'm going to try doing that because I don't want to do those other two. Mm-hmm. But once I got an opportunity to work at an emergency room in the hospital, I actually realized I hate hospitals. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I don't want to do this. So it's like, this is out. Yeah. So I, <laughs> like, it like, kind of broke my mind because I'm like, oh my God, if I'm not going to be a doctor, I'm going to have to be a cook. And I'm like, dang, that's going to suck. But then um, teaching was kind of like a way for me to kind of like break even a little bit. And okay. I'd just be a teacher while I figured this life stuff out. Yeah. And then that's kind of how we ended up doing all this kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. I went to school. So my mom has always been like the manager of a doctor's office. So mm-hmm. I kind of grew up around medicine. And I just thought it was really cool and interesting. So I was like, okay, yeah, I'm going to be a doctor. So that, that makes sense. Yeah. But I always loved like art. And um, mm-hmm. I painted a lot. I still paint a little bit. Not too much anymore. But I really wanted to go to graphic design school. And I was not going to go to college, but I was like, nah, you got to go get like a real degree. And yeah. I'm like, oh, okay. So I went to college and then didn't really love it. Like yeah. I just kind of went through the motions of it because that was what I had to do. And yeah. that just kind of, it didn't really, it wasn't like a, no, you're not going to go to college. Like it just was like the next step. Right. So I kind of just did it because yeah. that's what everyone else was doing. And that was just what I had to do. Yeah, that's good. Didn't love it. Started working full time, going to school part time. Um, picked up a marketing minor, loved that. That was yeah. like the best. Yeah. You go. Um, that was fun. I actually loved those classes way more. So I was when I was going part time, I was only doing marketing classes. Like I wasn't doing biology anymore. So I was like, mm, I don't love this. Yeah. And I'm not going to be a doctor. So why am I going to keep going with that? So I just started yeah. doing the marketing classes, um, and then didn't finish school. That was an interesting conversation with my mother to have. Yeah. Um, but it actually worked out really well. Like that conversation, I was like, Yeah, I don't think I'm going to go back. Do you remember like where you were and what the situation yes. was she when was you asked? Yeah, I was so stressed yeah. and like, oh my gosh, she's gonna. Fr- I didn't even know how to tell him because yeah. I was like, oh. Was it like man. at the dinner table or was it? No, I was in a park. Yeah, I was in a car, right? Yeah, I was in a parking garage on campus. I just got done with like one of my marketing classes. Mm. It was like a late night class. I was working full time, so I could only take night classes at the time. Mm. And I was in my car, and I'm like. Ugh. I do this. I can do it right now. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm like, if I don't do it right now, I'm not. Gonna, I'm never gonna do it. And like, it's almost the end of the semester. I don't want to apply for another like semester classes because mm-hmm. I'm gonna have to pay for to cancel it and all that other fun stuff. So I called her and I was like, Hey, I think I'm like done. <laughs> like, <laughs> like at this point, I was paying for classes out of pocket, like because yeah. I was going part time, so I couldn't get like financial aid or right, anything. Yeah. So I was yeah. just everything was out of pocket, and I was like literally just paying rent and class, and like that was it. So yeah. working full time, but like. It was just going back towards that, and that was not fun. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, yeah, I don't think I'm going to go back. And at first, there was, like, a long pause. <laughs> and, like, we had a whole, like, chit-chatty conversation beforehand, and then there was a pause, and then I was like, okay, I'm tell her. Yeah. Oh, um, so that was, like, rough. Because, like, my mom didn't finish college either. Like, she started working full-time, mm-hmm. so, like, she kind of knew that was where it was going to happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but she was actually really, like – okay with it yeah true. which was weird isn't that yeah. crazy how your parents like you have this vision in your head that they're gonna like blow up on you and whatnot yeah. I, mean, I mean some unfortunately will yeah, yeah. That's true too. but like good parents like you guys have are gonna support you through yeah, everything oh yeah. yeah and like what she said something and i was like oh my god she's like this is actually okay she's like honestly 
I knew that you really were never made for college. <laughs> and that was like such a huge sigh of relief for me. It was yeah, like, yeah. damn, you're right. Like, I never really <laughs> right. was it. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. So that's kind of what happened there. Yeah. You know, then, yeah. That is it. Just like now thinking about it, like you guys kind of telling your stories is. So I want to go back to Brett, your story yeah, and probably. just talk about like, did you have like any like self limiting beliefs like when it came to like oh like my parents came from like the poorest town that they or they were the poorest in their town like they didn't have anything like because I I mm-hmm. mean for me like I'm the complete opposite and mm-hmm. so I'm like wondering like you know, now that you guys kind of have gone through life a little bit and you're figuring it out still, mm-hmm. like what made you like, was there a tipping point or something your parents said or something you learned from somebody or an experience that like made you realize like, I need to do X in order to like, you know, be able to succeed, be able to like, mm-hmm. you know, be able to like have a better life. Cause it's like, mm-hmm. you know, if you go based off of like your experience, it's like, well, like, you weren't like meant to be like a busser because obviously seeing like what you guys do now. Mm-hmm. So kind of like talk about that like, yes, as far bro, as that's, dang, that's a good great, question. Great the questions, bro. Killing like, it. Making us think about life. No, <laughs> yeah. honestly, bro. Um, just coming from like a immigrant background, I think um, our parents, even though they don't mean to do it on purpose, like in just like in regular conversation of like, oh, you're going to be a doctor one day and like make a lot of money so we don't have to work so hard. Yeah. Um, all yeah. you got to do all this Or like stuff, you're like, going to make it so then. I can relax. Because yeah. we didn't make it. Yeah. So you're going to do it because yeah. now like we provided you with all this stuff. Yeah. Right. And that was the thing. Like the, they provided us so much. It's literally yeah. my parents sacrificed so much. Like it's, right. it's crazy. Like I can go into like a lot of stories about oh, yeah. like all the stuff they've had and gone through. But like, like subconsciously, I'm like, dang, I have to sacrifice myself now too because yeah. they sacrifice yeah. their mm-hmm. lives mm-hmm. so then i'm mm-hmm. like okay this is what this is a sacrifice i gotta do yeah, yeah. and then something that gary v talks about a lot is um basically saying like you have to let your kids do what they want to do but there's, there's gonna be a lot of resentment later like, oh, yeah. the parent, like mm-hmm. to the parents and my like, thing and that's true too i, I saw that because i'm like if i ended up being a doctor like i could have done it i would have hated my life though and yeah. like indirectly i would have hated my parents because of that they made me do this so yeah. i'm like oh my and i love my parents too much to be like I, like to do that so i'm like i, I can't be a doctor like, yeah and yeah. that was an interesting yeah. conversation to have with the parents like, yeah. 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 Love for you yeah yeah i'm not gonna do this yeah. <laughs> yeah. i love for you i'm not doing this yeah yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. Like, yeah. it's like it doesn't make sense now but it will like, trust me trust me yeah. Yeah. yeah i think they're now just like they're just getting it now like they're just understanding what we're yeah. doing now. Because like I, we, so we had like this pop up event where we had like a hundred people come out. I was absolutely crazy. That was insane. Um, but I was breaking it down to my dad because like I have to explain my, to my dad some stuff because he doesn't really understand what we're doing. Mm-hmm. They, they still don't really understand. What they we're really doing. don't get what we do. Yeah. Yeah. Like, well, you yeah. do videos and photos yeah. and make money. I'm my like, mom kind of gets yeah. a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, than yeah. Your parents. Well, my parents yeah. are just like. My grandma, okay. my okay. grandma thinks I make commercials, <laughs> yeah. which I kind of do. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. 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 But, so, so yeah, sense. I was just bringing it down to my dad, and I'm like, Dad, like we had all these people come out, but it wasn't just like the ten days that it took us to do it. It's literally like a year's worth of work, like going, getting coffee, mm-hmm. reaching out to new people, making our names like in the Tampa area. And my dad's like, Dang! So they're like, I okay, I understand that because like he he can relate to that like mm-hmm. building a name for yourself mm-hmm. yeah so like that's how i explained it to him and that's literally what that pop-up was it was like yeah. all the work that we had to do to like make a name for ourselves here in the tampa area yeah so, and then my mom actually came out to the pop-up oh, and that was crazy so cool. yeah she was there and she's like wow like she saw all the people like like us around like, you guys yeah, yeah. and yeah. she's like wow like you're actually like adults now and like doing really stuff cool. and i'm like it was a cool right. experience. yeah well, we are it was, cool <laughs> it was cool basically yeah. show your friends like hey parents like we're doing stuff here. We're trying. Yeah, we're yeah. not just playing games. Yeah. Like we're actually trying yeah. to do yeah. stuff. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, so that very was cool. cool. So let's go into your background. So I love that to so kind of talk talk to me about like where I mean, obviously, you kind of gave the background, but like with growing up, like going to med school, then realizing like ah, this isn't for me, and then kind of you know yeah. where you are now. So my mom's a single parent. Okay. So and she's been a single parent since I was like a year old, basically. Okay. So yeah. we moved from New Jersey. But she's always kind of been in, in like the medical industry, so I yeah. just always assumed like that's what I was going to do because mm-hmm. that's all I really knew. And I liked it. And I love biology and science, and that was great. I hated organic chemistry, learned that in mm-hmm. college. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, no, no. I've taken no. several times, hated it yeah. every single time. Um, but so we had a pretty, I had a pretty comfortable life. Like we were middle class, but she worked her butt off, and like I just never really 
Like, yeah. I knew she did. Like, she always had a couple of jobs here and there. Yeah. Like, yeah. But, so it was just felt like I had to, like, be the doctor so then she could chill. Yeah. yeah. Because she did so much. Like, she sacrificed so much for me, too. And, like, that was just what had to be done. Right. So, like, I went, I didn't do it right after science school because it was like, mm, okay, I really need your help doing this because most of they're private schools. So, you got to pay, like, a crap ton of money up front. Um, so, went to college and the whole thing. I really, like, wasn't that good at school. Like, I was good at school in high school and middle school. I was, was in, like, the, I was in the IV program and, like, the advanced classes or yeah. whatever. But hated it. Hated it so much. Like, I played sports. That was fun. Um, but I hated all of the classes because I hated yeah. math. I sucked at it. I had to get a whole ass tutor just for, like, pre calc. <laughs> like, it was bad. Oh, no. Um, but, so, started college. Like, was doing all right. Like, but then I had a couple of years where I, I did really terribly. Right. And it was only because I really wasn't trying. Mm-hmm. And at that point, I was like, I don't really like this. I don't mm-hmm. know if I really want to keep doing this. I'm paying a lot of money to do this. Like, I don't know if this is for me. But I didn't know what I wanted to do because I was only going to be a doctor. Yeah. Like, that was it. And yeah. with a bio track, like, either a doctor or a teacher. Like, there's yeah. nothing else. Or you work in a lab. Yeah. And I didn't want to work in a lab because that's... It's yes, cool that you guys figured is. that out early. You know, yeah, that you weren't necessarily interested in that stuff, yeah, and the whole college situation. Mm-hmm. Because I went through college, got my degree, even though like halfway through college, I was like, none of this is going to apply mm-hmm. to real life at all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I went to an expensive school and got a marketing degree, which doesn't make any sense at all yeah. when when you break down the numbers of like what you're going to make when you come out. But it's just interesting to me that like you know somebody like you guys might realize that very early on and kind of pivot. Whereas me, I had to go through, you know, the full four years of college working in nine to five jobs in my field yeah. for like six years before I realized that I needed to make a change. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I just think it's but cool at you least guys. you learned a lot. Yeah. Like, oh, from all of those you like, like comparing to like your level of expertise to us, you have way more like knowledge because we learned we nothing. nothing. About photo like we learned everything you need to. Yeah. yeah. Like we had no one who did no. any of this stuff yeah. in Fort Myers. Like there's nothing going on. Yeah, yeah, the full time jobs definitely helped. Yeah. So obviously, I wouldn't have been able to get those full time jobs without the degree, so yeah. it yeah. all ended up working out. But yeah, it was just a interesting contrast in the paths. There. Oh yeah. <laughs> so so like, when did you realize, like, when you're working those nine to five jobs, like, okay, I want to do something else. I there's something more. Both of you. Is yeah, because like both of you are in that. In that. Mm-hmm. I mean, well, I think I mentioned this on another episode, but so I'm not gonna like go through the whole spiel yeah. but basically once I realized that I knew how to do the things that they were offering mm-hmm. and like what's the reason that I'm not selling these on my own instead yeah. of and making the full profit versus exactly. like a yeah like a tiny right. set amount so I was it's like right. I know how to do all this and I could probably sell it so I just I started Before trying it so that's cool and I mean I've always kind of dabbled in like little side projects and things like that so mm-hmm. I always had this nagging in the back of my head like dude you need to try something yeah. But I always just, for whatever reason, like, it was like that self-doubt of just always thinking that whatever I was doing on my own was always going to be a side project. It was Mm. never going to be my full-time thing. I was never going to be able to make a living off of it. Yeah. So it was just getting through that. That just took some time and confidence building. Yeah. 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 That's cool. What about you, Dave? No, I'm coming back to you guys. Because you guys (laughs) missed your, like, the best story. (laughs) (laughs) Like, we, 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 we talked about school and then... We're in our yeah. apartment in Fort Myers. We see yeah. some coconuts. Yeah. Like everybody's yeah. probably wondering, yeah. just like I was. Yeah, how did the coconut thing happen? So like, did one just fall out of a tree one day? Basically, we got hit in the head like Isaac Nugent. Like, <laughs> yeah, with the apple. You're just like yeah. gravity. Oh, uh, gravity. Like, oh, I know. Honestly, just hits you in the head. You're like, I'm a photographer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that didn't make I think, sense. I think I figured it out because I was reading this book. Um, this book says like you should not pay for Wi-Fi, and I think that's. Like, I'm going to connect it. Right? Here we go. Yeah. All right. So uh, at the place we were living, we didn't have Wi-Fi. Yeah. Like, yeah. We just okay. didn't have Wi-Fi. I was, I was with my cousin, but like the way his house was set up, he just could not get Wi-Fi in his it house. Like, it didn't make any sense. Like, it, like, it was weird. It was the weird. internet connection did not reach the zone where they lived in. Yeah. Like, wow. So we're like, and okay. Even, if, even when we bought it, it still was crappy. Yeah. Like it just could not reach. Okay. So, so wow. okay. So we had like no Wi-Fi, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> so because rough. of the fact that we had no Wi-Fi, um, mm-hmm. we were just... We just didn't want to be in the house because we we're just bored just being yeah. in the house. Like we're wasting so, all of our data. Yeah. Like we, yeah, we yeah. can't watch Netflix. Like what are we <laughs> yeah. doing? Yeah, we literally yeah. couldn't do anything. So it forced us out of the house, right? Mm-hmm. So then um, 
we were kind of like just playing around outside the house kind of stuff. And then we happened to go to a trip in Miami mm-hmm. where we stay at Airbnb. And then right outside of that Airbnb, they, we saw people cut down coconuts. And we're like, that's really <laughs> random. They were like, that's weird. That's kind of like, oh, that's kind of cool. They just had like a big stick knocking them and down. what year was this? This was back in 2006. No. Oh, so this 17. was somewhat recent? I was, oh, yeah. Some no, I was yeah. picturing like 2010 no, or something. Not really, no, not really recent, oh, wow. bro. Really I was in 10th grade in 2010. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Yeah. I got it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, 2017. I was putting it in the context of my age, and I was like... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Jake. You're not, you're not old, bro. Yeah. You're not, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. so... Um, so yeah, so we saw them do that, and we're like, that's interesting. That was in like spring 2017. Yeah. Because okay. they just so like crazy. took a random trip. What were you doing in 2017, Jake? <laughs> 27 spring. When they were selling coconuts, I don't know what we were doing. <laughs> spring. So I graduated May of 2016. I started my job June of 2016. So that would have been a full year. Oh, yeah. yeah. So okay. Haley and I had lived with my mom for several months, and then... We had just moved in to our place and I hadn't even found first forum. I don't even think I had found CrossFit yet. Oh, wow. um, so I was still, still really recent too then. Yeah, it's still really recent. Wow. So yeah. It's crazy though, like it, to like, think about like, like, I was just thinking about that because like we're all here in this room and we're all <laughs> friends now yeah. and everything and things are so different. And I'm like, all right, you guys were selling coconuts on the beach. Yeah. I was in a <laughs> nine to five miserable trying to figure life out. Mm-hmm. You I'm just trying to. I was trying to work on my six pack, and you know, yeah. still eat healthy and not eat ice cream. So mm-hmm. that's just crazy. <laughs> that's not even that long ago. No. Yeah, that's what's crazy. That was two years ago. Yeah. Anyway, it's amazing. Yeah. No, no, you're right. Like, I, I, yeah. I we'd sit back. And we're like, we're like, wow. we're literally like, what is that? We say that all the time. That's why we made a hack. We're yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, you made that? You guys made yeah. that? She made that. I she painted it. Wow. You yeah. painted it. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Painted on there. What? Yeah. Just so everybody can see what <laughs> is like by merch now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I I'll put a link in the description. <laughs> oh my god, you actually did yeah, that. Yeah, it's funny. painted on there. Yeah, okay. this you know what you should do? They say you know what you should have done? Just hang a little coconut in the bottom. Oh, yeah. that'd be funny. I'll add yeah. that on. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. All right, so back to the coconut story. All right, yeah. Yes. So we're in Miami. Some, yeah, yeah so we saw Miami. them cutting down coconuts. We're like, okay, whatever. That's cool. And then we go out to the beach. Those, mm-hmm. those same people that were cutting down the coconuts are there at the beach selling them. For like fourteen dollars a coconut. Fourteen dollars oh, a coconut. Like, on South Beach. And we're crazy. like, wow. Yeah, this is wow. crazy. And this was back in the time when we were still working in college. So I was making like about like nine dollars an hour. Well I was I had a real job at it. I was oh, working. Oh actually, yeah, 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 yeah. You were working nine five, but still you were making But I was making nothing. It was like twelve bucks. It was like twelve bucks an hour. So like so we looked at it, we're like, dang, these people are having fun and yeah. then in one hour of just they take one hour to sell one coconut. They're having more fun than our And they're making more money than we are. Oh, that's and crazy. making more money. Yeah, yeah. So we're like, okay, that's good. So crazy. we're like, wow, we're thinking about this life yeah. thing like way too hard. Like right. work, it should not be this challenging. Right. Yeah. They can sell coconuts. Like they literally, we just saw them cut them literally. down for free. Like what is life? Like <laughs> yeah. Yeah, these guys cut this down for free. Yeah. And then product like, to a beach. They were selling $14 a coconut. So of course we had to buy one. And because everyone was walking around yeah. with this big coconut. And so we're like, wow, what if we did this? Because, yeah. like, his cousin had two coconut trees in front of his house. Mm-hmm. So, we're like, we just have to cut those down and then sell them at Fort Myers Beach. Do mm-hmm. you guys remember mm-hmm. what day? Like, the exact, we have a exact picture of day that, that you we, sold we, the first coconut. We have oh. a picture of our first customer. Oh, yeah, yeah, we, we, do. we do. What I recommend is every day, like, in the future, on that day for every year, sell go sell coconuts. coconuts on the beach. That'd be actually really cool. Uh, and look at that. With the and you have, that yes. and you have a pot. You have a, you have a, just like a little of that. Like just celebrating that, that day. Yeah, so funny. Oh my gosh! Really oh, right, we really gotta cool. do that. It's coming up. It was in July. And we just we just got a coconut supplier. No, yeah, we just got a coconut. Yeah, yeah. Now, we, now we know yeah. the hookup. Now we got the hookup. Hey, remember, yeah. remember. Yeah. <laughs> 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 wow. Now, oh, we gotta all right, do that. Right. Hold on, I gotta press pause real quick. Yeah, you have to hang out with both these Jakes because yeah. literally every time we hang out with them, we always learn something new. They're just a great time to be around with, and they're just genuinely nice people. Like literally. Hang out with so us one at a time because it can be a little overwhelming. <laughs> right, yeah. Right, it's a lot then we'll just ask him. Yeah, like right now, like we're about to blow up. <laughs> Too yeah, much I'm like, I'm like giving you unsolicited marketing advice. I'm excited. Like, it's great. Telling you what to eat. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's too much at once. It's amazing. Okay. All right, but we're going to press pause, guys, because we need okay. to restart the cameras. Yeah. But we'll be right back. And, and we're, we're back. back. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, we're finishing up our uh, coconut, coconut story. story. Yeah. Oh, yes. So, so there were coconuts outside of the house. We're like, let's just try it. 
let's see if we can if we can sell coconuts at the beach. So we bought a cart, um, a drill, a drill because we didn't want to walk around the beach with a machete. <laughs> so that bad. wouldn't be that safe. Yeah, yeah, a drill's a lot more. Fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> well, yeah, because you see oh, guys, like, you guys I see mean, drilling the too. holes into the ground for the you know the exactly the umbrellas. So that yeah. makes sense. It, yeah. made, it made more sense than being machete. Yeah. So. Right. <laughs> Running around like Jason. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So we got a drill, a cart. We gave out like flower lays to everybody. Nice. We like yeah. souped up this cart with like a That's grass so cool. skirt and everything. Uh, we had a big a, red umbrella. Yeah. Play Moana on the bra- background. Yeah. I almost, I almost wish that I could drop everything and just have like a month long like life like that. Do just it. Try yeah. it out. Dude, just try it. That's it crazy, it. man. Just like, don't I'll just pay somebody else to run Brick Media for like a month Do and it, then bro. I'll just go off the grid. Just gotta try really, it. it was a good time. Dude, we yeah. only well, did it on the weekends too because I still have yeah. work. I got in a rabbit hole the other day on Instagram and I found like these traveling vans that have like kitchen. Oh my gosh, like, you sent me one of those. I'm like, yes. Oh yes. yes. Oh it's yeah, I sent you guys that. I was like, you guys need to do this. I was like, I I showed it to you. Oh my gosh, we gotta do that though. I would love to do that. You guys are gonna have something interesting in your future. I just know it. Oh yeah, every day is just. Like, you're gonna have like a food truck or like a store. Dude, like, you're gonna have like a truck actually. It was like a coconut themed car. I literally almost did it. You guys are gonna do something. We almost bought it. It was on sale. Travel to travel to different cities selling coconuts while doing photography. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is all the game changing right now. Yep, this is what we're doing now. We're now setting up our airspace. We're crazy enough to do it. We'll do it. Oh, that would be so cool. Wow. So right. you guys did that. You you had the old spiel, yeah. and then yeah, sold yeah. coconuts. We, we so learned. we sold them for seven dollars yeah. instead of so one for seven, yeah. two for twelve. Compet- competition, nice. Yeah, like, yeah. Nice. it's a capitalist <laughs> beach, right? Yeah, yeah. It was crazy. but it taught us a lot about business, like yeah. uh, marketing, like as far as like you want to make it like a whole experience type of thing, yeah. letting people know. It was an experience. Um, sales. Yeah. <laughs> there was a lot of no's before we got our first yes. Yeah. Wow. So like literally, we're just walking. We're like, hey, you want a coconut? No, okay. You want a coconut? No, okay. <laughs> And then I'm like, oh, I like that shirt. You want a coconut? Oh, yeah. And, like, oh, <laughs> and it's just that That's stuff. basically like, what happened. Yeah, so That's we're like cool. learning as we go, and I'm like, dang, this is kind of crazy. So. Did yeah. you have like a name for it, or were you just walking? We were the, the we Dos, were the Dos, Dos Cocos, Cocos, Cocos. Cocos. Oh, wow. So, so that's, that's we just kept that name and added yeah, productions. Yeah. 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 That's so cool. Yeah. 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 You guys, all right. <laughs> I just love this because my brain's just going like a thousand miles a minute. You guys need to trademark that. And I know. Then, Get him to make a website. Take your own pictures. I think they have. You have a website, we, right? Um, That's so kind of in the get process. Get a pocket. Get a pocket tea with a coconut on the I back. Know, we need to do that. All right, All right. On, like, cut sure. podcast. <laughs> <laughs> we got some work to do. <laughs> so we've redone our website like four. Times yeah, now. we're still working on it because we don't really know how we want to portray our work. Yeah. Gotcha. So like there was a moment we were just going to do wedding photography, and so we made a whole wedding. Yeah. Photography website, and we're like, mm, we don't know if we'd really love this to do it like just this. Yeah. So that took a long time to make. Well, it's like, why why limit yourself, right? Yeah. You know? so it's just it's like, more I mean, of like a, yeah, it's just like with Jake, like, yeah, why was, limit yourself to like one set of company? But it's like, you guys, like, exactly. why limit yourself to just wedding when you can do weddings and work with creatives and models oh, and yeah. different things? Yeah. Yeah. So that's just really hard to market yourself, though. So you have such a wide. Yeah. Because if you're Getting married, you want a wedding photographer to be our Yeah. Mm, that's like, true. But then we still have people so. who reach out and ask for that. So yeah, yeah, we're yeah, like, yeah, all right, cool. So, yeah. Throw yeah, your yeah. peeps. But do you guys, I mean, do you guys all think like you've, you've gained that like experience though because like eventually like you know jake you too and then you guys you guys are building portfolios you're building clients you guys are having things go on you're like hey this is all my work you're able to market it advertise it put it on social media so i mean you know do you guys think there is like a thing to making yourself like you know a just a wedding photographer do you think like being able to broaden your i don't know if we want to just pigeonhole ourselves yeah because like we like doing everything like yeah. we do, we do a lot we of everything. Bit, yeah, we're like just always trying new. Like you can relate to this, Jake. Like we're always yeah. trying new things. You know? like, <clears throat> yeah. Never know like what's gonna. And be I don't like. know if we've done enough of one thing to be like, yes, this is what we love yeah. to do. So we're so something like really t- new. The tasting phase. Yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah, I think that's an important point to make just for anybody that's listening because if if you like to do a lot of different things mm-hmm. and somebody's trying to tell you that you're just not focused or. Yeah. You need to Hear that a lot. focus on one thing. Hear that a lot. Yeah. Like, if you like doing a lot of things, just do a lot of things. Mm-hmm. That's right. it. Like, it's not their life, it's yours. And try a lot of things. Like, we yeah. tried so many things, and then some of them were like, nope, don't want to do that ever again. Mm-hmm. But if we didn't yeah. try it, we would have never known. Yeah. Just like I tried to do a music blog in college. 
Yeah, you yeah. Told yeah. Us that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It got like a bunch of Twitter followers, and then I just one day was like, I'm not doing it anymore. <laughs> yeah, and people were like, Jake, what happened to it? <laughs> yeah. You're like, I'm just, I'm just done with it. I yeah. don't want to do it anymore. Can't tell me what to do. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Like, if I wanted yeah. to shut down Brick Media tomorrow, I would do it. You can do it. Yeah. I'm That's not good. going to, but I would. Yeah. <laughs> All your clients are like sweating right now. Like, I can't. Jake, what are you doing? Yeah, exactly. I'm about to go sell coffee. Yes. I'm yes. telling you, that was a good time. Yeah, it was yeah. pretty wild. That's I kind of want to quit and just be your guys' agent. Bro, so I want to give you guys bro. coconut opportunities. And, right? <laughs> yeah. Cool. Just Looking grow. for a manager currently. Sure. <laughs> yeah. sure. Grow the coconut empire. <laughs> that would be yeah. really cool. Yeah. Take over the world. Yeah. I have a lot of ideas. So talk yeah. about what's, now that, since we're all here, let's talk about like the connection, like you guys getting to meet Jake. I know we've yeah. talked about that with, with Colton, like kind of sharing yeah. that story. We used to it because obviously yeah. we heard it, but tell yeah. him one more time. That's right. So really, we saw Jake. We thought he was dope. Yeah. We made a free thing for him, like animation. For saw me on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, on Instagram. Not on the street. Not on the street, not on the street. <laughs> Probably on the street too. But. <laughs> <laughs> and then like we just reached out like, hey, here's a cool thing. Like, I hope you think it's cool, but like, have a good day. And then <laughs> yeah. he's like, what? That's crazy. Let's get coffee. And we're like, all right, cool. Yeah. And now here we are. Basically, that's it. Yep. <laughs> yep. And just to yeah. give, just give you guys more context, uh, Brick Media offers social media services, website services. And because of these guys, we offer content creation services. So any content work, whether it's photo, video, graphics, like 80% of it's these guys. Mm -hmm. So right. that's, awesome. that's, that's kind of what happened after we started becoming better friends. Yeah. So yeah. Cool. Crazy. Sweet. Yeah, and then we got to meet Jake through Jake. So yeah. yes. that was yeah. crazy too. Yeah. Right, man. <laughs> yeah. So it's been a cool ride. For real. So awesome. So what do we got next, Jake, as far as what we're gonna discuss? So <laughs> as you guys know, we like to take questions from the audience. Yeah. Um, we got a few things submitted to us through Instagram. Mm -hmm. Uh, a couple of them were serious, a couple of them were fun. We've done a couple of serious things already, so I just wanted to do kind of a fun one. Okay, let's do it. Um, we're, we're just going to go around the table. <laughs> we're gonna, yeah, we're going to go around the table. Uh, the first question is, what is your guilty pleasure? <laughs> All right, cool. Guilty pleasure. Who wants to start? Oh. That's a good one. Uh, <sighs> chocolate. <And> this, <laughs> chocolate. No, chocolate. don't do a cliche. <laughs> but that really isn't. Uh, <laughs> Is there I, something that's just like you don't like to admit it to people, or like it wastes time, or something like that? Mm. Like, okay, I'll give oh, you mine. Like, okay, yeah, go for it. Impractical Jokers. Oh, Impractical. that's a good show. Kelly and I oh, would yeah. just watch that for <laughs> yeah. hours and hours and hours. Yes. That's so yes. funny. And there's times when I need to get work done. There's times I need to go walk Louie. There's times that I need to work out. But I'll watch Impractical oh, Jokers. Oh, I got hours. one. I got one. Oh, it's a new one. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I'm going to say? I don't know what you're going to say. Okay. So there's these two moms and they're so funny. And mm -hmm. they have like they're a, hilarious. they're hilarious. They're, they're actually on Gary Vee's podcast. Yes. The Betches? No. Oh, no. And they're <laughs> Cat and Nat. Cat and Nat. Oh, Cat and Nat. They're, they're cool. so yeah. freaking funny. So, so funny. I literally spent hours just watching their Mom Cheese Fridays. And it's <laughs> so YouTube. weird because she listens out to her uh, hustle pods. <laughs> and so I'm just laughing and Robert's yeah, looking like, at me like, what like, are you doing? <laughs> I'm like, like, I'm just working. It's like dead <laughs> quiet. It's like dead quiet and she just starts laughing. I'm like, what is going on? And their podcast is hilarious. Yeah, so. that's fun. That's so, cool. That's They're funny. definitely mine right now. Dang. All right, for me, uh, it's gonna sound really weird, but uh, I don't even know if some of your listeners even know who this is. But PewDiePie, you know who PewDiePie? Oh no. my god! Oh no, man. Okay, don't, I didn't. Don't look them up. It's not worth it. <laughs> don't look them up. Don't look it up. Yeah. Uh, don't get yourself in that rabbit hole. <laughs> it's the only way for me to connect it to like the, the general public as far as like what they like. It's like high school and middle. It's like high school, middle school, school entertainment. School. Okay. Entertainment, yeah. it's so dumb, but it's so freaking it's funny. It's so dumb. I'm like, why it's funny are they, though. It's funny, it's but it's funny, but it's just so long. Oh, that's God. definitely a way a time waster. Yeah, that's yeah. definitely a time waster for me. But yeah, it's yeah. Fine. there's definitely little things on social media that just make me laugh so hard, and I don't know why. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's like, not yeah. that funny. Like when you actually think about it, but when I'm looking <laughs> yeah. at it, I'm just cracking. Like up. memes and things like that, like all that, oh, like, especially yeah. NBA memes. I don't know why. Something about like NBA just players. Funny. Like, Literally, just funny. our whole like in the future, everything is just gonna be memes, bro. Yeah, that's right. what we're like doing. That's just gonna be like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> actually, like um, I kind of took this um, risk, I guess you could say, on social media. Like the other day on Father's Day, instead of posting something serious about my dad, I just posted a funny meme about like being a dog dad. You know, it was just a meme, yeah, and yeah, yeah. I bet, I bet it did good. I it did, did pretty good. decent, yeah. but yeah. I was just like, oh, "Around, yeah, yeah." yeah. yeah. I just like, love to see you all the time. I do every year. Yeah, my yeah. dad knows I love him. He's even on Instagram, so yeah, no, that's good. <laughs> so, yeah. all right, Drake mine, and... honestly, 
it would probably, I was just, I thought of ice cream when you said <laughs> chocolate. Yeah. So mine would probably be just like Friday night, no joke, just order a pizza, probably as big as like to the point where I can know I'll be able to finish the whole thing because it's like satisfying finishing a whole pizza and being like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I ate that whole I thing. That, I'm yeah. a boss. <laughs> and then from there, topping it off, just like maybe like casually watch like some YouTube or Netflix and then finish on and off the night with some ice cream. Like Doesn't matter time. how much it is, whether it's a, a tub's a little excessive. <laughs> I'd go maybe like a pint or like a yeah. sundae. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, one of the, yeah, like the Especially Halo Top or the Ben and Jerry's. <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah, or just a, uh, a nice sundae, you know, two scoops, cool. maybe some hot fudge. What's yeah. something, um, sounds good. What's something that like interests you guys right now that's not necessarily a guilty pleasure? But what's something super random Ooh. that you're like into right now? That's a good question. Twitch, 100. percent Twitch. Oh Twitch. yeah, we're on Twitch. Yeah. Actually today. Um, yeah, so we're we're so starting this thing called Wine Down Wednesday, oh. where we just drink some wine and play some games online. Twitch. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's Wednesday. Yeah, it's tonight at ten. So, okay, it's every Wednesday well, at ten. Well, this won't be today. But. Or <laughs> yeah. that's true. on Wednesday. Yeah. You guys find them next Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, you'll yeah. see this. But yeah, dude, it's interesting though because like. Um, it's just another way to kind of like connect with our audience and show another side of us. Yeah. Do people in your audience have Twitch? There's yeah. some of them that actually do. That's we cool. had like one person so far like come yeah. in and like talk to us while we're playing games and we're oh, like, cool. and we're like yeah. oh, hey. and then they're really like, yo, play zombies. And we're like, all right, we gotta play zombies. And he said so. <laughs> That's awesome. Marissa, hey, That's the scariest thing in my yeah. life. You're like, ah! Yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh my God. Yeah, but I think it's pretty funny because like our reactions are too yeah. different. <laughs> it's like just different. And things. I'm like, I really actually suck at video games, so it's just really fun. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we don't take it seriously at all. Yeah. We're just playing, playing around. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. That's funny. What about you, Jake? Anything? Um, anything that you're really randomly into right now? Really? I'm randomly into. Oh my gosh. That's a tough one. I don't know. Somebody else has got to. I got to think about I'm into, that. I mean, not really into, but I have to do a low carb diet right now. So I have to like Ooh. try different types of foods and stuff for like a health related thing. Too. But yeah. Um, yeah. Low carb. So I'm just like cutting out breads and you know yeah. anything pasta rice so like my meals would typically be like a protein a vegetable and a rice and now it's just a bunch of vegetables and a protein so that's cool i want to yeah. get there yeah. we're definitely not there yeah, yeah. Not, you, go not, you know yeah no we're, seriously we're, we're gonna call it we're, we're, we're gonna call it we're gonna call it the grocery grind <laughs> Yes. And we're gonna, oh, you guys, you guys are gonna talk while we're grocery shopping. Love it. We'll like get more into it later. Oh, we're gonna do that. We actually need to do that. Like um, we had I white rice yesterday. Naughty guys, come on. Um, I would probably say, I mean, right now I'm studying for my personal training certification, so it's just like trying to find different ways to like educate myself you know, whether it's like personal training or like CrossFit coaching. So I signed up for a weightlifting uh, week seminar that's going to be in Cookville, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. So it's actually, I think I was telling you guys this, it's uh, home of the goat, uh, Rich Froning. Uh, so he's uh, really big in the CrossFit space. Uh, but I actually, the weightlifting seminar is at his gym mm -hmm. um, up in Cookville, Tennessee. So I'm just trying to find like different ways like that to like be able to go because I'm a very like visual learner. And so like I have to do things like in person. So like studying for me is very difficult. So like just reading a book or like watching a video, I'm just like, all right, this is I like I have to like be doing it. And so I thought like being able to like invest in my time and like money to like go up there and like spend the weekend to learn like from amazing like, you know, individuals who've been doing it for so long that's like something that I'm into. So just like, whether it's watching it on YouTube or on Instagram, like that's like my real like focus because then it's like, all right, how can I like implement that, do it and then say like, wow, that was terrible. Or like, wow, I learned so much about myself. Right. So it's just like putting myself like through those, like a little bit of like trial and errors, I guess, mm -hmm. in a sense. Awesome. And just kind of like exposing, like it, it, it's in a sense, like exposing my weaknesses, mm -hmm. you know, cause that's what they talk about a lot. And like the CrossFit world is like really like, exposing your weaknesses and then like learning how to work on them and it's like how do like how do other trainers work on them how do other athletes work on them and then just being able to like continually like grow from there so oh, gotcha. that's kind of like what i'm working on in the sense cool yeah that's cool. i'm really into uh i don't know why it's so random um so obviously you guys know if you watch any sports uh, 
the Steelers traded Le'Veon Bell and Antonio Brown, who were their two best players, wow. to the yeah. Jets and the Raiders. So I don't know why, but I'm, <laughs> I'm so into like seeing how they fit in with their new teams. I don't know why. Oh, because I'm like, I can only picture those two guys with the Steelers. Yeah. So I'm just really curious to see how AB is doing on the Raiders and how Le'Veon's doing on the Jets. And it's right. going to be a really fun season to watch, but that's another thing I'm randomly like following and into right now. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. cool. That is interesting because it's like, you, especially if you follow that, like you saw all the huge, mm-hmm. you know, wait, I mean, they are, they're both, they're both personalities and they both like have, have they were like the have face had, of the city for years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they both have had, and have been saying a lot of like different things about, mm-hmm. you know, what either went on, what's going on. And it's just like, that's like, you know, what a lot of people are talking about. Cause it's, yeah. When you're the face in, when you're the face of a franchise for such a long period of time, but then you also have a person personality with it too. Mm-hmm. I think that's what makes it more even more interesting. Yeah, for sure. So, so we'll see. Go Steelers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Were there any other questions that did you get some submitted to? You? I had one interesting question, and I'm not a big book reader, mm. but I've been reading a couple books that I'd probably recommend to people of just I'm like I'm a very slow reader. So I'm like a ten pages a day and then yeah. like that's like yeah. that's my max. Um, but obviously I'd like to work on getting more, but, uh, one question I got was if you had one book you could read for the rest of your life, what would it be and why? Oh, that's a good question. Yeah. yeah. We read a lot of books. You do? Okay. Yeah. Dang. Excellent. But yeah. You guys do have a, you guys have a nice bookshelf. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Library. Library. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one day we're going to have like a whole Oh yeah. That's yeah. the goal. That's yeah. definitely the goal. Um, read one book. I think I have an answer to this. Um, I don't have an answer because the Bible would be the only one that Ooh. for me I would that's like oh, the easy okay. way out. Oh, all right. Oh, it? <laughs> all right. I know there that's it is. Game right. over. <laughs> yeah. You're right. All right. End podcast. Bye. Bro. I mean, I'll be honest. So that's kind of the easy way out. I yeah. Know, but uh, yeah. I can't think of a book that I would Dude, want to read. For I'll the rest match of my you. Life. I'll match you on that. Well, not match you, but like I'll um, support that. Um, that's for, kind of. A, I mean, I understand what they're asking, but like. Yeah. Are you just going to read it over and over and over again? Like yeah. people read books. Oh, there I are do. Some books I've read a couple yeah. books yeah. more than yeah. once. But I feel like, I mean. I have a weird most, relationship with books. I read it, it and then I like. I don't never yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it's true though. I mean, like with the Bible, I mean, like one time of year, I mean, two years ago, we could have all read the Bible and then now we could read it's it and it could have been completely That's different. That's the thing I like about the Bible. Is like it like you, goes with your life. Right. Yeah. yeah. When you grow as a person, you look at the Bible differently. Like yeah. I could read the same yeah. verse now and then read it again in five years and get mm-hmm. different meanings. So right. Yeah. So that's why like forever I could keep reading that. Yeah. But I think that's what, yeah, no, but that's true though. But I, I think that's what's so beautiful about like the Bible though is in so, I mean, really, I think really like good pastors, they like truly like understand the Bible. They, they talk about how, you know, even though the Bible was written 2000 years ago, like it's still relating to us in 2019 with phones and social media yeah. and everything. And like the, sh- you know, struggles of like life and everything, it's still relevant today. Mm-hmm. It'll still re- be relevant for us. Like when we're, you know, five years from now, it'll be relevant for us like on our deathbed. So, yeah. I mean, I think that's like what's so beautiful about that. Maybe we just right. ended there and Jake just yeah. like stole the show and yep. that's all we need to say. Before we go, do you guys have any yeah. remaining questions uh, or thoughts for us or anything? Wait, about the book question though. This one book like changed my whole perspective on everything. It's probably why we're True. doing this. Okay. So it was like the first book that we read that like True. really shifted our focus from like, okay, we don't want to do these 95s anymore. We want to do something else. Yeah. Right. Um, it was Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. Such a good book. Yeah. Okay. I think Rich, I remember that. Say that one more time. Rich Dad Poor Dad. Okay. So it kind of like breaks down. So Robert Kiyosaki had like a rich dad. Yeah. No, no. no. He had no, a poor he had dad. He had a poor dad. He was dad. a teacher. Okay. And like went and had all the schooling. He had like several bachelor's degrees and he had a PhD. Did what you're told to do. So like got, went through all the schooling and then like he was the poor dad. He was like kind of cheap and like just didn't really live in a paycheck to paycheck. Yeah. And then his friend, his like neighbor friend um, had the rich dad who yeah. like only went up to eighth grade and then had all these different companies and was like killing the game. Mm-hmm. Had hundreds of employees and just like living that kind of lifestyle. So he, in this book, it talks about pulling all the good aspects that he got to see from his dad and then his friend's dad and like just kind of it shows the two perspectives of both oh, wow. mm-hmm. and I was like wow like 
yeah, we are thinking about this the wrong way. So, like, maybe we don't yeah, need all this. And then also just kind of talks about life. money. Because, like, for us, yeah. we really didn't learn about money until, like, after college. Like, college doesn't teach you. Especially if you're yeah. a biology major, you don't, you don't learn, learn anything. anything about finance. That's true. So we're like, dang. Mm-hmm. So like that broke our mind as far as like finances go. And we're like, yeah, because it dang. broke down a lot of a lot of like, because it, it showed how like his dad lived paycheck to paycheck and how like everything was set. There was budgets. There was everything. And then the rich dad, it didn't really. I mean, like, it, like you talked about how like how to use money to make more money. Yeah, as far as like, mm-hmm. how, like in a good, way, good debt yeah. versus bad debt. Yeah, and, like, right. Bad debt is the student loans that I have a pile of, and the good debt is the debt that's like buying, buying new houses who are like. It you're making money off of and like buying equipment that'll actually make you money so it talks about it. and there was just like a whole like whoa there's a whole different world out there that wow, we can that's, live. Crazy. that's cool yeah. so yeah literally so that book, because of that book we're here in front of you guys yeah. literally that's awesome yeah it's that insane. is cool it's part of a book all right wow i might have to i might yeah i might have to check it out it's a good that's book good. yeah change your whole life awesome yeah, you tell everyone about that book cool it's a great book cool but All right. Well, thank, thank you guys. guys. Well, yeah. Thank no. Guys. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. <laughs> thank right? you guys this was going. weird. Yeah. <laughs> it was yeah. cool though. That was pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. 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 Thank you to the the Dos Cocos Locos for joining us. Yeah. Uh, thank you guys for always being so genuine. Yeah. Um, such good friends. I'm such grateful good. for you too. Yeah. Thank you for all you do. We appreciate it. Oh, thanks. And, um, Stop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Keep it coming. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, go check you. out go check out their podcast, the Dos Cocos Locos podcast. Yes. Yep. Um, if you don't know how to spell it, just try. <laughs> yeah. Just figure it out. Yeah, yeah. you'll figure it's it really out. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you'll find it. Yeah. But yeah, thank yeah. you guys again, and um, we'll see you guys for the next episode. Yeah. Thanks, guys. <laughs> thank appreciate you. it. Hey. Say it out loud. Thank you.